big yeah. thank you to Jimmy. He brought back some cream puffs today. You didn't have any, did no? you? I most certainly did. You did? How'd you get one? Well, you do the news at five. I'm done at five, so I walked out. Wow. There, there was, was only one left, so I had half. <laughs> oh, oh, half. Moderation. See the twists and turns in this story. Well, no. here's the thing. Usually, food one? doesn't. No, because food doesn't last this mm. late in the mm. day. Right. You know. Well, I didn't so. have it an hour ago. I had it. Right when he brought it back. Five. Anyway. But where did yeah. the other half go? I don't know. We need okay. to move on to the weather, though. The cream Heck of puffs a time. went yeah. poof. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> they, did. They, did. <laughs> they go fast here in the newsroom. <laughs> um, you guys, the U.S. Drought Monitor report came out today. Mm -hmm. I want to show you the new numbers, but keep in mind that they don't take into consideration the rain that fell on Tuesday. And Tuesday was the day that we had that flooding in Waterbury, and some towns picked up a quick, you know, two, three inches of rainfall. So that was beneficial rain that's really not being factored in. No big changes here since we are not taking into consideration Tuesday's rainfall. Still seeing the same amount of eastern Connecticut in an extreme drought and now more of southwestern Connecticut has been expanded to be included in this severe drought area. We've got another round of showers and thunderstorms that'll be coming through during the day tomorrow. But again, it's not this widespread soaking rain. We just don't get those this time of year unless you get some tropical moisture that gets, you know, sucked up into an approaching cold front. Then you can able you can more readily see that widespread soaking rain. Otherwise, it can be a tease because some towns can get so much rain, too much rain for the lawn or garden and some Someone a mile away could be literally watching the cloud raining and it doesn't come to your community. So that's how hit or miss in nature it is. Heading into Saturday and Sunday, we are mostly dry. Slight chance for a pop up shower or storm, mainly on Sunday, but most of the time is dry. So we're going to get most of that rain out of here for tomorrow. Right now, we're looking at temperatures that are in the 70s to right around 80 degrees. There is a slight chance for a shower, rumble of thunder overnight into tomorrow morning. But the biggest concern for those storms is really going to be tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, noon to about 8 p.m. or so, and that's going to be as this cold front approaches. It's not going to be colder, though, heading into this weekend. It won't even be less humid. It really doesn't do too much for the temperatures. It maybe shaves three or four degrees off the high. All right, low temperatures tonight in the 60s to right around 70 degrees. Once again, we've seen this the past few mornings. If you are up real early, some patchy fog and that is once again possible heading through your Friday high temperatures climbing into the low to mid 80s from sunshine to storms and let's talk about timing again this isn't going to be exactly right with the timing and placement of storms I just wanted to kind of show you how they are scattered in nature this is lunchtime there could be a big thunderstorm nearby while we're getting sprinkles and we'll see them become uh, more numerous and scattered as we head through the afternoon and the evening if we do end up getting a severe thunderstorm, the biggest risk is going to be for damaging winds, but we're also going to watch for that very heavy rainfall in spots and there is a low risk. It's a low threat for a tornado or large hail somewhere in New England, but we'll be watching the radar closely just in case. Highs this weekend going to be in the mid 80s, both Saturday and Sunday, but I wanted to show you how low the odds are. I think we're going to take it out of the forecast for Saturday. Sunday still a chance for a pop up, but a better chance for a shower, a thunderstorm Tuesday Wednesday of next week and then it looks like we drop those temperatures as we head into your Thursday not only during the day but at night too with overnight lows in the 50s inland guys.